problems today um well whew, I don't know if y'all know or not but my younger days I got kidnapped and jumped out of a car this side of my leg my knee hit the guardrail and this side hit the rocks and this side hurts worse than this side and I really have trouble out of this side but anyway, we're going on, and we're going to continue. All right, we are in Genesis 27. And it came to pass when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see. He called Esau, his eldest son, and said to him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here I am. And he said, Behold now, I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore, take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, some deer meat, and make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spoke to Esau, his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it back. And Rebekah spoke unto Jacob, her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speaking to Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. All right, now, I'm going to stop right here, and let me do a little bit of explaining. On, uh, if you read, I think it's, um, the book of Enoch, or Jasher, or the lost book of the Bibles. I'm not for sure which book it is. But in that book, you can read where... There's other books out here besides this book. There's 66 books in this book, in this Bible. That we are supposed to have more. And as, you, as we read on, I will point them out. Okay? Um, but it fills in... What is happening here? Um, I cannot remember the people's name, but I remember the uh, events leading up to it. There was somebody that come and was talking to Rebecca and tried to talk to uh, Isaac too and um, tell him, look, he doesn't care nothing about the birthright. He, he's going and he's doing everything against the birthright. And Jacob should have the birthright. And Rebecca agreed to it. So we know because he is a, a kid, a, a, a man that 
did, did not care <clears throat> for the, the spiritual things in life. He cared for the worldly things in life. So therefore, this is what Brent brought it up. So Rebecca is doing exactly, it was a priest. A priest came and talked to her. And so this is the reason why Rebecca is doing what she's doing. All right, and we're on number nine. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loves. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, preadventure, will fill me, and shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. Now, that would be, it would bring a curse. That's most definitely a curse. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy, be thy curse. My son only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son, Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goat upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread, which she had prepared, into the hands of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here I am. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou biddest me. Arise, I pray thee, and set and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said to his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And she said, Because the Lord thy God bringeth it to me. And Isaac said to Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel my son, whether it be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him. He said, The voice of Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, and his brother's Esau hands, so he blessed him. So he thought that he was Esau, and not Jacob. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, and his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. And he said, Thou my very son Esau, <clears throat> and he said, said, I am, and he said, Bring it near me, and I will eat of my son venison, that my soul may bless thee. <clears throat> and he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and he kissed him. And he smelled the smell of raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is the smell of the field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven, and of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Now, it is something to be the firstborn and get the blessing, okay? Uh, 29. Let people serve thee. And nations bow down to thee, the Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curses thee, and blessed be he that blesses thee. 
And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob. And Jacob was yet uh, scarce had gone out of the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came unto him, came in from his hunting. So he gave Jacob the blessing, and now Esau was showing up. Now, if you look, and uh, we have the nations here, both nations, these are two nations, and they are still going to this day. Um, I'm not for sure which ones they are. Um, I did a long time ago, but I have forgotten since then. And it's a crying shame. Esau is Edom. And that would be the Edomites. Alright, I'll try to look for it and put it in the description. Or right here somewhere. Um, and it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made it in a blessing, Jacob, and Jacob was yet score gone, source gone out, from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. 31. And he also had made savory meat, and brought it to his father, and said, oh, excuse me, and to his father, let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may be blessed. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who? Where is it that has taken my venison and brought, brought it to me? And I have eaten of all, therefore, that thou comest, and had blessed him. And yea, he shall be blessed. So Jacob got the blessing. He can't can't take it back from from him. He has to it has to keep going. Then Esau heard the words of his father and cried with a great exceedingly bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. Now remember, Esau traded his birthright anyway for Porridge, remember? 35. And he said, Thy brother come with severity. Subility. In other words, he conned him. He didn't know. He blind. Uh, oh. I'm trying to think of the word. I can't. Alright. And taketh away thy blessing. And he said, is it not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath <coughs> sub sublimed me, he, he conned me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said to Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And that shall I do now unto thee, my son. See, the, the firstborn is supposed to get everything when the father dies. All the, everything. Every tent, every servant, and everything. Now, and he's supposed to, the, the uh, younger son is supposed to serve the older one. Alright, 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And of the dew of heaven from above. He is giving him a blessing. Whether he realizes it or not. This is Esau's blessing. And this is the way Esau is today. 40. And by thy words shalt thou live. And thou shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass. When thou shalt have dominion. That thou shalt break the yoke from off thy neck. 
So, sooner or later, something is going to happen and the bondage of the, uh, of the servants are going to be gone. Okay? 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The day of mourning for my father are at hand. When, then will I slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doeth comfort himself, pursuing to kill thee. He is going to kill you. You need to, we need to do something with you. So you don't die, don't, you know, you don't, I don't need you to die. See, the blessing is more than what it reads, okay? And we'll see that later on and on how important the blessings are. And we are on 43. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Hedron. Now remember Laban, uh, Le Laban. Now this is her brother. Okay? So, <clears throat> remember, he's the one that brought Rebekah to uh, Isaac. So, <clears throat> alright, we are on... 44. And tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fury turns away, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. And when I uh, see, I will sin and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are of the daughters of the Lamb, what good shall my life do to me? All right, now, here, um, she does not want Jacob to take a wife of these people. Okay, you got to remember, these people here serve the Lord, the Creator Father God, and the rest of them around about were pagans, okay? They were pagans. They served other gods, and that's the, the type that Esau wanted, okay? Esau wanted everything of the world, but Jacob, Jacob wanted to be in the birthright or the uh, lineages of Jesus Christ. Okay? 28 now. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of the Canaanites. Arise, go to Penaram, to the house of Bethel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee, and make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Now here he is blessing him even more to, uh, to go to Laban. And more uh, Blessing him in the uh, uh, multitude of children and grandchildren and so forth. Four. And gave thee a blessing of Abraham to thee, and to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which, excuse me, which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac sent away Jacob, and he went to Panaram unto Laban, the son of Bethel, the Caesarean, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob and Esau's mother. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed e Jacob and sent him away to Panaram to take him a wife from thence that he blessed him, 
he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of the Canaanites. Now, Esau had already done taken a wife of the Canaanites. Okay? So, there's one thing there and all that his father did not like. Alright? And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Panorama. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of the Canaanite pleased not Isaac his father, then went Esau unto Ishmael and took unto the wives which he had, Mahatha, the daughters of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Naboth, to be his wife. Okay, see, he went and took a wife of the Canaanites because his father didn't want him to. He did, they did every, he did everything that his father didn't want him to do. And Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went towards Haram. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stone of that place and put, put them for a pillow and laid down in that place to sleep. So he took a rock and he laid down and made that rock his pillow. And he dreamed, <clears throat> and behold, a ladder set upon the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascended and descended. So let's, let's look at this as a portal. Have you heard about portals? Look up portals, and you'll see that it's pretty well much the same thing. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. And the land whereon thou layest, to thee I will give it, to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust <clears throat> of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad unto the west, unto the east, unto the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed, shall all families of the earth be blessed. There you go. You see, there is the blessing. Isaac blessed Jacob. Jacob left. God came and gave the, gave him the rest of the blessing. We are blessed through Jesus Christ. You can't get any better than that. His blood that was shed for us is the best blessing that we could ever have. 15. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all the place whither thou goest, and will bring thee again unto this land. For I will not lead thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep. And he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I know it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gates of heaven. So he was right there, and he felt like that was the gates of heaven, and it was a dreadful place. Now, do you think the gates of heaven is dreadful? I hope not. So they have took this word dreadful, and they changed it. Or he could actually mean that it was really uh, scary for him, and which... I guess in a way you would be because you'd be in a place where you would most definitely feel out of place. You know what I mean? All right, 18. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar, a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. But the name of that city is called Luz at the first. And Jacob bowed a bow, saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, those are the only things you need, food and water and raiment, so that I can come again to my father's house in peace. 
Then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house. And of all that thou give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Now this is, y'all will call him tithing. If you give because somebody says you got to give a tenth to the church, you're not giving it for with your heart. But if you give it free willingly, then you are doing the right thing. But other than that, these churches out here says you've got to give it to them. No, you're lying in their pockets. You're making them rich, and you're having to do with that. That is not what God wants. Now, you can go into a grocery store, okay? And let's just say that you go into a grocery store, and there's somebody there that doesn't have enough money to pay for the groceries. You step in there. And you help pay for the groceries. Then, hey, there's your, t your, your tithing right there. There's your tithing. So, if that is the way that it, God wants it to be. So, see, 28 and 20. So, there we are with 28 and 29. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And our next one will be, oh, what in that one, <laughs> right. Um, It will be Matthew and 23 is the next one that we're going to be working on. So I will see you then. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day and night. Hugs and kisses. This is how to donate to my PayPal. You come down here to Poor Man Sewing, and you mash on Poor Man Sewing. Then you go over here to About. You mash on About, and right here is to donate to Poor Man Sewing. Thank you. I appreciate everything that is donated. It will go to the sewing shed that we are working on. Or anything that you want me to put it on there, just leave a note on there and I will see what it says. And I really do appreciate you donating and watching my channel. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.